Nyojo Milwaukee and welcome to our August edition of Nyojo Milwaukee TV. The word Nyojo means hello in the Hmong language. It is generally used to welcome or greet people. So Nyojo and welcome again to our show. Today we'll take you to meet Bao Nye Bang with Wisconsin Advantage to give you an in-depth look and important facts about Medicare benefits. Also, get ready for some fun in the sun as Nyojo Milwaukee will take you to visit a Hmong community in Tampa, Florida to see how they work, live, and play. We'll also wrap up Dr. Yang Dao's life journey by listening to him talk about his work in Laos after obtaining his PhD. Along with these wonderful stories, we'll have important news within the Hmong community to announce and share with you pieces of our rich and colorful culture. This month, Bang Ye Bang with Wisconsin Advantage visited our set to talk about Medicare benefits for our elderly. Let's join this important discussion about Medicare with Don and Bang Ye. ยังจองอีจองกิตเนจาเชดาวันนี้จองโดนเนลูซี่ฮาวจิงกิงวันนี้เปาซาเมดิเคอร์จองเฮงนี่ต้นทับไปถาดซาเมดิเคอร์ท
um, the program that she not see United Healthcare more ilu program who are United Healthcare dual complete plan on a man uh, ba to tour ilu she her baby do not a local Charlie for her job I'm about to know that you know they chua um yeah like hot to attend the or you must see a unique up on your own the chua no no chua my day they know that she tell in the lock legend ba or part of a lot of the new though more call me at here she tell in a local bar or for a lot to toy to see how I don't do that in the mood say it out here and I get down to your game I know your it how was your energy from here that she my new one member to hold the low more to keep an on the don't know no no yeah it's a thing to sign to your เกี่ยวกับมาเรียนเขียนนะมาจงฟื้นมุ่งนั่นเราจะจะลำชื่อฟื้นเจ้าหรือมุ่งใจกันที่มุ่งใจเกินอ่ะเจ้าอยากให้
this is the uh, opportunity for you to come in and uh, do a live interview. Uh, we do have a website that have the position out there that you could go and do online as well. mpsmke.com backslash uh, jobs. And also you can call uh, our job uh, office as well at 414-475-8224. Uh, on August 9th, the Wells Fargo Diverse Community Capital Program awarded First American Capital Corporation and Mon Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce a $250,000 grant. These funds will support American Indians and Hmong Southeast Asian small businesses. Let's go take a look at the check presentation. Launched in 2015, the Diverse Community Capital Program is a unique program through which Wells Fargo has awarded lending and grant capital to CDFIs that in turn use those funds to deliver responsible, affordable financial products to underserved populations and communities. Uh, many of our Hmong and minority business owners and entrepreneurs continue to face challenges accessing traditional lending to start up or scale up uh, a business due to obstacles such as lack of credit, insufficient assets for collateralization, a lack of business acumen due to non or no prior history of business ownership, which deters them from seeking traditional banking resources. Really happy to just keep our friendship uh, going with the uh, with the Mon community. We have so much in in common. About twelve percent of Wisconsin is minority. Only six percent of our entrepreneurs, our brand new businesses, are minority owned. Let's change statistic number two, yeah, yeah. and let's make sure that this Wells Fargo investment and the hard work of our minority chambers, including the Hmong Chamber and the American Indian Chamber, are going to go and do the good and the hard work of entrepreneurship. But then let's also assure that you and I, all of us, friends and neighbors here together today, are going to be these entrepreneurs' patrons. That we go and we spend our money where our mouths are, assuring that these entrepreneurs have incredibly bright futures right here in Wisconsin. Congratulations, Chambers. And we have a choice. We have a choice as a nation. We have a choice as a world. We either try to move forward through division, or we try to move forward through multiplication. And the path that I think is the most productive by far is multiplication. And that's what we're seeing here today. What we are trying to do, what Wells Fargo is trying to do, what the Hmong Chamber of Commerce is trying to do, what First American is trying to do, is to provide more economic opportunity for the people who live in this community. And I am proud, I am very proud of the diversity of this community. Because what you see here is you see sometimes a struggle, sometimes some acrimony, sometimes some bumps, but you see a community that's trying to live together. On August 11th, we joined the Milwaukee Dragon Boat Festival at Lakeshore State Park in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The festival was filled with traditional performances, Chinese craft, dragon boat racing, food, and fun. With a collaborative effort of Hmong American Friendship Association, MPS Partnership for the Arts and Humanities, and Yojo Milwaukee TV, they hosted an after-school art program on Monday, August 13th. The event consisted of a play called The Boy and a Girl Inside a Wooden Drum, along with Hafa's Qing music and dance students. And we're just excited that at MPS to see this good work. The young people work hard every day and really practice a lot. Summer is a great time to release energy outside with sports. On Saturday, August 4th, Creative Results hosted a flag football camp event in Appleton, Wisconsin. Many youth came out to socialize and stay active together. Let's go see the activities they did that weekend. My name is William Yang. I am a realtor with Creative Results. Today I am hosting a youth flag football event. Uh, the purpose is to give back to the community. I figured it would be a great opportunity for our, uh, our Hmong kids, our, our youth, to um, other than being on tablets nowadays, you know, to be out and about and to network and uh, keep an active lifestyle. Our son is participating in the uh, 6 to 10 um, Red a, a team over there. <laughs> we would love to see more like this. Um, just getting the young ones out and off of tablets, phones, devices, it's, it's a wonderful thing. 
On August 18th, we visited Dance to Heal at DanceWorks in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Dance to Heal is a dance workshop hosted by Call Lore with the purpose of fundraising for a nonprofit organization called Our Space, which helps people who battle with mental health. Let's go take a look at the dance workshop. It's a dance workshop uh, as a fundraiser, which is pretty cool for our space here in Milwaukee. It's a nonprofit. So the mission is they have a um, person, self-centered services that creates a safe environment for people who have any kind of mental, uh, mental health illness with them. Um, I just want to let people out there know that, you know, you're not alone. Um, so that's another reason why I wanted to do this fundraiser because it's a topic that uh, kind of struck me in a way where <laughs> it got me really emotional. Uh, so yeah. As September is approaching, we want to remind everyone that September is Suicide Awareness Month. If you or a loved one are facing a mental health crisis, please don't hesitate to call the Behavioral Health Division Crisis Line at 414-257-7222. Surveys and screenings at Hmong Health Promotion events indicate a high incidence of hypertension, diabetes, and kidney stones. It can cause health conditions such as heart disease and stroke. Eat healthy and exercise regularly to prevent these illnesses. Blood pressures can often be checked for free, such as the equipment available at many Walmart stores near the pharmacy area. For full stories on our community news, visit us on Facebook at Nyojong Milwaukee TV. Stay with us. When we come back, we will explore Tampa, Florida with our Hmong community in the South. When it comes to starting your own business, it can be overwhelming and challenging. At the Hmong Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce, we understand how important it is to give you resources to build and expand your business. That's why we've designed our services to generate rapid results to help businesses of all sizes and across all industries. Hmong Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce, growing businesses in Wisconsin. Are you ready for some adventure? Nyoja Milwaukee took a trip down to Tampa, Florida to see our Hmong community's lifestyle. Let's go see all the fun. The best thing about Florida living here is that you get to have all the fruits and vegetables year round. Uh, you also have the greatness of being by the beaches, doing your fishing, and uh, having all your friends and family from up north always come down and visit you. I do uh, vacation home properties. Uh, this one is in uh, Ruskin, Florida. Um, it's a four bedroom, two bath. Uh, it's a little over 2,000 square feet. Uh, it's right on the Ruskin Inlet, and it's uh, about 20 minutes away from uh, um, the famous Skyway Bridge. We have multiple properties from uh, Brennington all the way to uh, Orlando. You can find us at um, FVR, Florida Vacation Rentals, on Facebook. And uh, you can see all our properties on there. And uh, if you're ever in Florida, come check us out. Farming and crops, it's something new for me. i never done it before. But uh, uh, since I moved down to Florida, I started learning how to, uh, how to farm. Uh, my regular job, I'm an aviation mechanic. Is, uh, I try to grow everything like tropical fruits, like longans. That's my uh, major crops. I believe uh, Hmong people came a long way, and uh, if you look at it, the last 40 some years, I think Hmong has uh, stepped up into the next level. What I enjoy is to make other people happy when they come over here. Usually, like in Florida, when you go into other people's farm, they won't let you walk into their farm. You only stay behind the fence and look. But I want to change that. I want people to enjoy. That's, why, that's the reason why I want to do this, because I want my people to enjoy it. They can come and look at stuff that we have never seen, stuff that a lot of people that are born back home that they, uh, they have never seen in 40 years. Everything looks so amazing. Thank you to the Hmong community for showing us a wonderful lifestyle in Florida. We hope you are still with us. After our break, we'll take you to see our latest episode with Dr. Ying Dao. Before we take a break, did you know that in traditional Hmong weddings, Hmong men bow with their hands formed into a fist as their thumbs presses onto the ground? Because the Hmong people did not have a written language or kept documents back in the days, their thumbprints are pressed onto the ground as a promise to the earth to seal and honor their wedding vows.
Welcome back. As you may know, we have been following Dr. Yang Dao's life story for the past two months. Let's go join Dr. Yang Dao's life journey by listening to him talk about his work in Laos after he obtained his PhD. ตอนในพลและเดลิเกชันและป้าในตัวฟาคิเตะและตัวมูเมกาเตะคุณและตัวฟาคิเตะคุณตอนแล้วเจ้าคุณตะเกิดหน้าตาแล้วเราเขาเ
Thank you to Dr. Ying Dao for being such a wonderful person to all the Hmong people. We hope everyone is inspired by his story and our culture's history. Up next, we'll take you to Tai's kitchen to see what he's cooking for us this month. Hey everyone, have you ever tried stir-frying cucumbers before? Every time I have this dish, it reminds me of my mom and all my brothers and sisters eating around the table. And if you love cucumbers, you absolutely love this dish. What I like most about it, it's a great complement to rice. It's hearty and it's delicious. So here's what you're gonna need for this dish. One pound of chicken breast, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, basil, green onions, garlic, ginger, tablespoon of oyster sauce, a tablespoon of rice cooking wine, salt, wonton seasoning, white pepper, vegetable oil. Slice up your chicken and season it with wonton seasoning, rice cooking wine, oyster sauce, salt, pepper, a bit of cornstarch mixed with water, and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. While the chicken is soaking all that good marinade up, prepare your vegetables. Garlic, ginger, green onions, tomatoes, and of course, your cucumbers. So when your meats are nice and marinated, in a deep pan or wok, add in two spoons of vegetable oil, turn the heat on to high. Wait until the oil is nice and hot, then add in your chicken. Add in the white parts of the green onions and tomatoes. Cook until the tomatoes start saucing up. Move the chicken and sauce to one side of the pan. Add in your garlic and ginger directly to the pan surface and on the other side for a couple minutes to let it sit and extract all the flavors. Once that is good to go, add in the cucumbers and add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce to the cucumber. The secret to a good cucumber stir fry is to keep the outside of the cucumbers a little soft and then leave the inside a little crunchy and not just all soggy. Once the cucumbers are ready, add in your basil, stir it around for a bit, then that's it. Plate and garnish with green onions, dried chili pepper to fit your spice palette. And cilantro if you like. Serve with a side of rice and enjoy. And there you have it, stir fried cucumbers, basil, tomatoes over rice. We appreciate your time for joining our August edition on Yajou Milwaukee TV, the first over-the-ear Hmong television show in southeastern Wisconsin on WMLW.M. Follow and like us on Facebook and Instagram on Yajou Milwaukee TV and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Yajou MKE. Before we say goodbye, we would like to leave you with this message. Happy are those who take life day by day, complain very little, and are thankful for the little things in life. Until next time, may our community continue to be blessed and inspired.